Okay, so this one's for V or Vi. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Sorry if I'm butchering that. You asked me, how do you remember the books that you read? So this is a bit of a tricky question because it's not necessarily about remembering. It's about reading the right stuff, right? Because books are this like... If you have a selection of books, right? I was like, if you have a shelf of books that you can read, right? Loads of books that you could read. You've got to pick the ones that are relevant to you, right? It's a smaller selection, right? This is all part of the process, by the way. I'm not just trying to like, like fill out this video. There's the ones that you want to read. There's the ones that are relevant to you. And there's the ones that you kind of really, really get into. Like really like, oh, that's, that's gold. I love that message. Like uniquely to you, it's like stuff that you want to read. Like it's like stuff that you want to read is relevant to you. And it's like, wow, I can really get into that. I can really like take action on that and really pick out the parts that I want to read as well. So the, out of these books, there are going to be a few chapters and a few bits, a few quotes as well that will really stick, right? So this is the gold, right? You want to filter out all through this kind of level of like every book that everyone recommends to the books that you like, to the books that are relevant to you, to the books that you take, take action on, and the chapters and quotes and bits and pieces of that that you really, really want to take to heart, right? If I can show you some of my books right now, like the one like the one book I have most annotated in, in life is probably the book How to Win Friends and Influence People. I've let my brother but I've let my brother borrow that book and I don't know where it is. So I don't have that, but some other book perhaps. Let's say okay, this one. Okay, this is a book that I I read like pretty much all the way through, right? And to be honest with you, like a lot of it was stuff I kind of already knew. So yeah, I there's different ways to go about this, right? You can pretty much like speed read books in terms of just like increasing the speed on audio or audible, things like this. And only pay attention to the things that are like stand out to you as gold, right? You could be like, oh, that, that bit, I want to read that bit again, right? And take action on it and like really like take it to heart. Okay, let me just be clear about this, okay? So finding this gold, step one. Okay, let me just break it down. Not like, I don't want to speak a million miles an hour here. Once you find that gold, right, what do you do? Because that's an intuitive process, right? You read through the books that have filtered down this process and you read that book that you really want to read, right? You find that gold, that one chapter, that one quote, that one thing, right? The one way to find it is to like really, really be thorough about this filter, right? really filter to the books that you actually want to read that are actually relevant to you, right? Then <clears throat> go to the contents page and read the chapters that are the most interesting to you, right? I guess that's part of the filtering process, so I'll, I'll erase that as well, right? Within the books you, you want to read, right? Contents page, chapters, quotes, things like this, right? And then once you find it, really meditate and really think about that chapter, Right, so hmm. that should cover the filtering process. Yes. Okay, so once you find that gold, there are several things you can do. Take action, right? So I know a lot of people recommend this, take action. Just as soon as you see something that is relevant to you in the book, take action, right? But sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes it's like something that is later on in life. And so maybe something that you can't do right now, perhaps like go out and like talk to someone right now. Maybe it's like 5 a.m. in the morning and you're like, you can't really go out and talk to someone like that. It just doesn't work, right? But the second thing is the good shit sticks, right? That's a quote that I go... The, a quote that I got from Tim Ferriss. Good quote. Oh, goodness. I'm really fumbling today. What's wrong with me? The good shit sticks. Good shit sticks. 
That's a quote I got from Tim Ferriss, right? This is a, a saying that says, there are a lot of things you need to learn in life. There are a lot of things that you will learn in life. And therefore, how do you remember everything? This question comes up a lot to me and to other people in this kind of space. The good shit sticks, all right? So when you read books, so the reason I picked out this, it was because, like, I know the, the general message of this book, The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. Yeah, David Schwartz. I understand that the power of belief is very, very powerful, right? I, I have, like, certain memories of, like, the anecdotes and the stories within this book that kind of stick with me because I'm like, oh, that is so cool. And you'll find that 99% of the rest of the book I forgot about, right? But that one story, but that one quote stuck with me just because of my personality, because of how the book connected with me, right? The good shit sticks. And you'll find that across time, like there's, there's different ways in which different chapters and different things in life will be relevant to you. Like take, for example, The 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson, right? There are maybe two, three or four of those rules that really stick with me. The rest of them are like, yeah, that's kind of cool, but, you know, I could take it or leave it. Or I've already learned that lesson. Or, like, maybe that's not relevant to me right now. Right? I'm sorry if I'm rambling a bit. I feel like I'm just, like, thinking out loud in this video. But that's, like, the two things that I would say are the good things to do. Take action on it the good shit sticks and if you really want it to like be part of your life then stick it on a wall I don't know if you can see, well you can't see but behind you on the camera there's an entire wall of quotes that I have that I've saved over time that are like really important to me right so let me read one out to you here's one I, I saw recently there are some flowers you only see when you take detours right that's a quote that I really like a lot that I heard recently. And that's why I stuck on a wall. Somewhere where I'd see it every day. Right? You've got to kind of make it, think, make it actionable. And the thing is, with the second thing, the good shit sticks. You will find with this stuff that... It just, it just gets to you by osmosis. There's not necessarily a thing that you have to do, right? Don't worry about reading too much necessarily because you will be, if you read it, it will be thinking, it will be rebounding on the inside of your brain and you will kind of by osmosis naturally incline yourself to doing that behavior, right? By journaling about it, by thinking about it more, right? And that would come under taking action, right? Taking action isn't just doing the thing or the piece of advice that you read about. It's about journaling. It's about thinking about it thoroughly, right? So, for example, when I heard about, like, Jordan Peterson's advice or, like, general Christian advice of, like, no sex before marriage, right? That, for me, when I started university and I was, I was all about casual sex, that was something I had to think about a lot. I spent days and weeks and months thinking about that. And so now that's kind of part of my personality. I don't want to have sex before marriage anymore. Right? I know this video is very, very random, very, very rambly, and I'm kind of bouncing off in different points here, but this is what it is. Taking action isn't just doing the thing, it's thinking about the thing. The good shit sticks. That means that you don't have to worry too much about like the amount of stuff you're reading or the amount of the knowledge you're ex exposed to, right? Because the good shit will stick. Don't worry about it, right? Or if you if you're that worried about it, write it down, stick it on your wall, right? And that's what I have to say, really. I think that's those two points are the best points I can give to you because, look, you can study a book. And try to like memorize the entire thing. But I don't think that's appropriate for reading books. Or for watching videos. Right? You have to allow yourself to naturally 
observe what is attracted to the magnet of your brain. Right, your brain's like a magnet and it will attract the things that are, you know, the most appropriate for it. The best puzzle piece to like fit in there. Right? And so if you really like something, it will stick with you. And if it sticks with you and if you care about it, take action on it. Do the thing or journal about it or think about it. At least have it in your life in some way that shows you that you care about it. Right? I think that's all I have to say. Sorry if that one was a bit rambly and a bit like random and like hitting different points, but I hope that helps. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in a bit.